So today we're going to talk about assault charges. Um, assault is a, probably among the most common criminal offenses that happen in Canada and they come in various forms um, and we get hundreds and hundreds of calls from people who are charged with assault and when we talk about assault it comes in a number of forms so the first is basically common assault also known as domestic assault that's one type of charge another type of charge is assault with a weapon and again a weapon Immediately you, you, you think a, a weapon can be something dangerous like a knife or a gun, but oftentimes a weapon can be something even as simple as a beer bottle or a cell phone that was used in a fight, and all of a sudden you're charged with assault with a weapon. Assault causing bodily harm is another type of charge. Uh, it's a little bit more serious. It means that you've actually hurt the person. You put them, uh, likely hurt them enough to put them to go to the hospital. Um, an assault that ends up in a peace bond is sort of more of a, uh, a dispute and is a lesser charge. We'll talk about that. And then typically with assaults, there's also a separate charge that's called uttering threats. A lot of people don't know this, but if you threaten to kill someone, even if it's just a threat, that's actually criminal. And so all of these, um, all of these charges happen throughout Canada every single day. And once you're charged, the, the police will come to your home, they'll fingerprint you, and now you have to appear in court. Once you appear in court, the judge will make certain decisions and, and outcomes based on the certain circumstance. So what is the outcome in court when you are finished uh, going there? Well, there's a number of outcomes when you get assault. The first is a diversion. You can also get a peace bond, which is a promise to stay away from each other. The charges can also be stayed, meaning pretty much you're not guilty, but you're also, it's more like a slap on the wrist if it's called stayed. There's also absolute discharge, conditional discharge, a summary offense, and an indictable offense. Now, in terms of removing your criminal record once you do get it, and once you have completed your sentence, it really depends on the charge and the actual sentence itself. So every file is different and really depends. So it's best when you do get charged and you finish your punishment to call us so that we can help you ultimately get the assault charge removed. The reason why most people want to get the assault charge removed is because it can pre prevent you from getting work uh, or getting a promotion or volunteering or coaching and also for traveling to the United States. So it's really, really important. If you do have an assault charge um, and you want to get it removed, your best bet is to call us. Our number is 1-800-929-6011, extension 3. Or you can go to our website, which is www.pardons. Dot org. And we're happy to help you.